Hello everybody and welcome back to the Cinepax YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can go from simple, easy titles to high quality, professional looking music video titles. Cinepax has finally released a music video title effects pack and the most amazing thing about this pack is that there's a version for every single editor out there and most packs that you get they don't they don't come with all these different versions it's usually just specifically for one editor so this is super cool so let's go through how to use it for DaVinci Resolve first and foremost open up the font links you're gonna need to install all these fonts here they're all free on defont.com but if you want to use it for commercial use definitely look into getting a license in DaVinci Resolve, each of the titles will display as a black screen. They won't show up at all if you don't have the proper fonts installed. You can get it to display properly if you go in and just manually change the fonts, which I will show you how to do. But just so you know, if it's coming up black, most likely you don't have the proper fonts installed. Okay, so for DaVinci Resolve, let's go and click on the DaVinci folder right here, and you can see here's all our different styles, and there's a little installation video if you wanna watch that, but I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So if we open up this little installation package, you can see this is the place on your uh, computer that you need to place the templates into. So if you're on a Mac, you need to navigate to your library, then follow this path, and then drag all of these folders right here into your titles folder, all right? Now, uh, if you're not on a Mac, you can follow along with me right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our C drive. I'm gonna open up a new folder, open a new window, and then we're gonna go over to users, follow this path right here, uh, your username, then go down to app data, which might be hidden. You have to click this view button and click show hidden items in order to show it. Then we're gonna go down to roaming, black magic design, DaVinci Resolve, support, fusion, templates, and then through here all the way down to your titles. And this is where you drop all your setting files. Now I like to keep things organized, so I usually create a new folder here and I will label it something like Cinepax. And then what I'll do is I'll just drag these folders into that folder, but I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do that for you today. So you may need to restart DaVinci Resolve in order for them to properly show up, but once you have them installed, just head on over to the effects tab, down to your titles folder, and since I have my Cinepax folder that I made, they are all showing up right here for me to view. So all you gotta do is just click on these and drag it into your timeline. And just like that, you have a title. And you can go into your uh, inspector right here and purely edit all of these. So we can change the name of everything. We can go ahead and change the artist name to uh, Van Norman, which is my name. You can change the song name, just like that. And you can change the colors of every single thing here. Change that to red. Go ahead and change the fonts as well. You have full customization over this thing. Now an important note about this pack, uh, Bonus Style 3 and Bonus Style 6 are the only titles in the pack that use PNG images in the title themselves. So as you can see, they display black because it becomes unlinked with those images. So to fix that, all you have to do is go to the image file right here and click browse. And it's gonna open up the location of our title templates. And since this is bonus style three, we wanna look for bonus style three asset one. Do not click on uh, any of these other ones because these are just the thumbnails, all right? Make sure you click on the asset, all right? And let's click yes right there. And as you can see, now it loads up properly. And the exact same thing for bonus style six. Go to this image file right here, click browse, and go down to bonus style six, asset one, and open that up. And now it loads properly. Now, although you can customize everything in the inspector tab here, the true magic lies in the fusion tab. So let's open this up inside of fusion. And as you can see, it's a group. And if we double click that group, now you have access to the entire node tree of this title. So you can fully customize it. So in case you're new to nodes here, um, the basic concept of it is when you have a merge node like this, green is the foreground and yellow is the background. So this means basically all these layers are being stacked on top of one another and so this is our background and here our frame is being stacked on top of that background if that makes sense so it's pretty self-explanatory this is the shape of the frame this is the frame color which we can edit right here but here's the transform node so now we have option to move this rotate it and do whatever we want with it and the same goes for each of our titles here so if we click on our song name 
we can offset it now and we can go to um, our presets here presents sorry and we can now offset everything so it's a little more stylized to fit what we want and where's our tagline there we go move it this way now you may see on the credits or in a few other titles they have a little keyframe icon next to it what this means is it has multi-level styling um, which essentially means there's multiple fonts being used in this um, in this one text box. So in our text box right here, if we change the font, it affects the entire text box, okay? However, if we right click and we click um, add character level styling, which has already been applied, it will then add a modifier, which we can find right here, that then allows us, if we're in the modifier tab, to select individual characters just like this and change the font of them. So, for example, that allows us to add this dot here, which is using a different font than the rest of the text. Okay, so let's wrap up by stylizing our titles and making them look cool with some effects, all right? Um, I don't use any of the effects here, okay, in the edit page because they won't respect the alpha uh, channel of our titles. So if we applied a glow to it, it wouldn't work. It would be trying to find highlights which don't exist in a title like this. So we're gonna be doing it in Fusion again. So let's bring it over into Fusion. Let's double click. So the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna take uh, maybe our song name, um, more so our artist name and I want to center this so I'm gonna bring it to the center uh, I don't know why this isn't showing I'll double click it and there we go um, and let's click this to center it and let's just put in Van Norman there we go that's my name and then I'll do the same for these other texts right here we'll just call this black void why not um, and then I'm gonna go into our tracking here and I'm gonna kind of tighten it up a little bit by using the slider there we go, perfect. And then that looks a little bit better. And then I might just adjust the center of it manually. And then the same here, center this a little bit more. Perfect. So what I wanna do here is I wanna add a white glow underneath this. So it kinda of looks like a silhouetted text. So to do that, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a background, background, and we're gonna make this background white. So it's basically just a solid white square is what we have. And then I want to take this output here and drag it into here as our mask. So it's gonna make that white uh, image, it's gonna mask it out so it looks like our text essentially. Then from there, we're gonna add a glow node to it, glow. Now I wanna merge this underneath the media out. So remember what we said before, we're gonna to go to our merge node, we're gonna click that button to make a merge and make sure that this is plugged into the yellow input which is our background and then this is gonna be connected to our green input which is our foreground and then connect the output into our media out and there we go, look we have a void, awesome. So I'm gonna go into our glow, I'm gonna kinda of tighten this up, I'm gonna make the size a little bit smaller and then bring the glow up and then there we go. Okay cool, I'm gonna go into the credits again double click and then I'm going to center these. There we go. And now if we go back to our edit page, now we got an awesome black void font. Epic. Let's do a similar effect with this gothic style here. If we bring it into fusion, I love doing this cool glow effect. In order to change the color of everything at once, I'm going to add a background, back, background, and then drag this into the mask input of our background. That way we can now change the color of everything. So let's just make it red, I like red. Perfect. And then let's add a glow again to it. So glow, and then now it's glowing, it's looking cool. But DaVinci has these awesome built-in uh, effects where we can type in damage, damage, and we can click on film damage. I like film damage a lot, so let's add that. And as you can see, it kind of weathers the edges, adds a little vignette to it, and it also adds a little bit of noise and flicker to it. So if we go back to our main title now, look at that, that is a sick title, awesome. All right, to wrap things up, let's go into a little bit more of a serif style here. Um, we'll color this by just going right here and click pick screen color, let's choose a brighter one here, but then Bring up the brightness a little bit and bring down the saturation. There, that, uh, let's a little less right around there. I think that looks pretty good. Then let's just drag this and save it as a color right there. So then we can go into each of these and just click on that to quickly duplicate that color across the whole thing. Perfect, there we go. 
and that's looking it's looking good it's coming together pretty nice so there we go and it's kind of matching up and then maybe we'll do something a little bit different for the circles here um, possibly let's add let's pick another screen color I'll just go like right here and let's just manually kind of mess with it a little bit bring it a little bit into a darker kind of color I don't think uh, uh, wait maybe maybe by doing right there and then bring it dark that might look that might look nice so then let's just duplicate it over and we'll pick screen color right there and then for our last one perfect now for this let's go ahead and just add film grain film damage film grain right there and that's going to just add a nice little texture to our uh, our font there so let's go ahead and let's bring down our complexity uh, what I want to do is I want to scale this up there we go there's our size so scale this up a little bit bring down the strength a lot and then maybe bring the scale back a little bit and then um, let's bring down our roughness as well and then that's going to give us a little bit of a nice little texture. We can also add a little bit of a flicker addition. So just add in a little bit of a flicker. Um, I like to bring, if we play it's too too much, so let's bring the range all the way down. Let's bring the speed all the way down a little bit. So then there you go. That's really subtle. And then maybe finish it off with a glow. Why not? We always love glows here. Um, so let's just put a glow in. Ooh, that looks nice. Um, but let's definitely bring it down just very subtle glow like that much just ever so slightly so we're going a lot um, a lot more subtler than than our other titles that we we're doing and if we play that through there you go look at that we got a nice little uh, title going through and the possibilities are endless you can just keep customizing these things keep doing you know things that you you're always used to that you've always messed with um, and just see where you can take it. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this title pack and I hope you find it really helpful and just kickstarting your, you know, titles and making them look a lot better, a lot faster. So if you guys do enjoy this and you want to keep your eye out for more Cinepax tutorials, more Cinepax pack, make sure to check out the Cinepax website. Use code SAMPLE15 to get 15% off any of your orders. And then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates and tutorials inside of DaVinci Resolve and other programs. With that, guys, good luck editing. Have a great day.